So we come to the 30 second move of the whole 35 sequence, three forms put together. Uh, the first one's the eight brocades, then we got 18 form Qigong sequence with a nine form sequence that I learned in the Himalayas. Um, all Qigong sequences these are took from, or the movements, that's all they are though, the movements for these. We're not gonna go in traditionally, the usual traditional way you do these. Um, we're going down the yogic Pilates and hypnotic path of the breath. Um, and just the rest is just the movement. The movement is heaven horse turns its head. Heaven horse turns its head. Um, it's linked like a lot of them with a squat. Okay, but as with all squats, you go in as deep as you like. But before we do that, we're gonna go right into the breathing. The mixture of the Pilates yoga and hypnotic breath, linked in a vinyasa style, breath synchronized movement in Sanskrit. Um, we're gonna link that. So we're gonna go into the breath, mainly into the breath, because the movement we're not gonna spend too much time on. I've, as I say, I've gone traditionally into the usual traditional way you do these within the traditional Qigong sequences. We're not disrespecting them sequences. We're just taking the movement, because it's too good a movement to waste. Um, and just, yeah, mixing around the breath. Usually this is linked with the triple heaters and the pericardium. The triple heaters in Chinese med medicine um, are linked with your immune system uh, and cellular function, stuff like that. And the meridians, the electromagnetic rivers that are linked to each move in each sequence, traditionally in the Qigong sequences, uh, run from different areas like the triple heater, you can run from this finger here um, and it runs up to the cheekbone. There's all different meridians, but I'm gonna go too deeply into them. I've gone more deeply into them on other videos. So let's go straight in. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna simply zip up pelvic floor and scoop out the abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine, okay? And that's gonna help you breathe into these lower lobes of lungs naturally, okay? So that's very near Pilates breath. As you do that right now, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, and take your navel towards your spine. You're gonna feel that breath going low and deep to these lower lobes of lungs. It's what we call lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates, because as you right now zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, that helps you breathe anywhere but the belly button. It helps you breathe into these lower lobes of lungs. So that helps us use the corset muscle, what we call the transverse abdominus, the corset muscle, three layers deep, which is all segmentally stabilizing the spine. And with all Pilates motions, that's what we deal with mainly. That links onto our pelvic floor, which runs along here, the B line, bikini line, belt line, whatever you want to call that. Okay, that's the end of the pelvic floor, which links on like cling film to our corset muscle, three layers deep, which is all segmentally stabilizing the spine. And they go together, it's like a cough or a sneeze. If you get their thumbs from the hips to meet along the B line, bikini line, belt line, whatever you wanna call that. And if you cough or sneeze, <laughs> you feel them come in. So that's what generally happens with the corset as we gather in, zip up and hollow. The pelvic floor and the corset go together. And that's gonna naturally help you breathe into these lower lobes of lungs as you can feel right now, as you do that right now, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, they go together anyway. That's gonna help you breathe into these fish gills. As you breathe in through the nose now, and exhale through pursed lips as you're still zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals. That's gonna help you breathe into these fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs. If you're gonna check you're doing that, which you will do anyway, but just to reassure yourself, you can get these two middle fingers touching underneath the xiphoid process, the sternum, the breastbone, palms on the lower lobes of lungs. And as you do this breathing, zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing through the nose, and exhaling through pursed lips, you'll feel this motion going on. 
and that just let you know you're breathing into these lower lobes of lungs. So you can do that for a while or, or just be safe in the knowledge that's happening because there's nowhere else for the breath to go apart from into these lower lobes of lungs. Lovely. As if someone's opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go. Or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. That lovely 3D breath. Just coming in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. As you follow the journey all the way, all the way in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. So if you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips, that's going to work like a cough or sneeze. Like that cough or sneeze, <laughs> and it comes in towards the spine. Lovely. So that's loosely, or you know, shortly, we're just briefly going over the Pilates breathing there. And we'll make it slightly more yogic because we close the mouth. Carry on the same though as you are zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals right now. But we're breathing in through the nose, that's the difference. And exhaling through the nose because it's a smaller filter through the nose. And it helps us lengthen the whole wheel cycle of the breath longer. Okay, whole wheel cycle of the breath is extended through that smaller filter through the nose. That becomes like more cleansing breath. Like your sort of more regular yoga breath. Okay, lovely. As you still zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. As your breath's lengthened, as we go down that yogic path of the breath, the whole wheel cycle of the breath is lengthened. We're going to consciously take our mind to that out breath and you'll, you'll feel that naturally wants to elongate longer than the in breath. So just to simply, just simply allow that to happen the out breath to go longer than the in breath. And then rather than the breath breathe us, we're gonna breathe the breath. We're gonna take our mind, especially to that out breath and consciously elongate the out breath, quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like the out breath, just make that longer than the in breath. Encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. The in breath's conscious for, the out breath is subconscious for, so we're just going down that hypnotic path now with a hypnotic breath, a bit like 7-Eleven breathing in hypnotherapy, you don't have to know that, but by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath right now, okay, be aware the in breath's conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought, so by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation right now. As you do that, you're still zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, and taking your navel towards the spine, but simply elongating the out breath, longer than the in breath. Encouraging all them parasympathetic nerve system responses to be benefited. All the things you don't think about, all the housekeeping properties of the body, cellular communication, organ function, that natural state of health, well-being and renewal, all being benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Just feel that chemical cascade to relaxation, all found on that lovely elongated out-breath. And allow that simplicity to relax the mind as you're still zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals. Now again, if you want to take this on a little bit more advanced, optional. If you can't get it, don't worry. Carry on breathing as you are. Still zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing in and out through the nose, like you are right now, and elongating it out breath longer than the in breath. But if you want to add a little bit extra to that, go down a slightly more advanced yogic path, then we're going to get ujjayi breath. We grip at the esophagus, narrow the esophagus, we breathe in through the nose, and it's like a shoulders down though, because they want to come up. <clears throat> and then we're going to exhale. It's like going ah, with a mouth shut. Soft, silky, whistling ujjayi breath, silky breath, raspy sound from the back of the throat, 
ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. That helps us lengthen the breath even longer, gives the mind something to hear more. Okay, it's natural focusing breath, ujjayi breath. It stimulates the thyroid gland, thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat in the body, helps us fan the fire more, to burn the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath, or just your normal breathing. The sounds are. Seashore breath. Once more, that length and that whole wheel cycle of the breath. Now, again, we're going to go back and add that to vinyasa, breath synchronized movement. It's going to go back and add that in. It's a squat, basically. So I'm going to stick to the Iyengar yoga principles of alignment. Only going down as low as you keep the knees in line with toes or less. Only go as deep as you like, basically. If you do go deep, only as low as you keep the knees in line with toes and then tailbone deep. Feet hip width apart. So again, I'm going to bring one hand here. We're going to breathe in, ujjayi breath or not. This hand's going to come up. We follow this hand trance-like. And we exhale whenever we like. We breathe in, then we exhale for as long as you like. Coming down only as low as you keep the knees in line with toes. Elongate the out breath for as long as you like. Then we swap over whenever you like. Breathe in. And exhale for as long as you like. Only coming down as low as you keep your knees in line with toes. As you follow the hand up, talking up through the midline of the body. Trance like, come into the here and now as you elongate the out breath for as long as you like. And then simply start again. Okay. Following this hand with the eye line. Trance like, come into the here and now, the present moment with the breath. The motion and movement. Just get lost in the breath. The motion, the movement, true stillness is stillness in motion as you get that coilage and linkage from one move to the next. Again, you can always swap over one hand here again, talking up for the midline of the midline of the body, just getting lost in the breath, the motion, the movement, elongating the out breath for as long as you like. And as you elongate the out breath for as long as you like, even imagine all the atoms around you just relaxing and calming down too. Even the objects around you just relaxing and calming down too. As you elongate the out breath longer than the in breath, encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless dreams of comfort. They're just coming into the nerve system and help everything feel even more relaxed than it already is. Lovely. But again, yeah, only going as deep as you like. Again, I'm not spending too long on the movement, more on the breath. Um, so, yeah, that was the 32nd move of the whole 35. So, got another three to go. Uh, separate the clouds and just a few sort of beginning or sort of ending ones, nice basic ones to finish. Uh, lovely. Bang.